Born Princess Alex of Hesse and Bavarian, Alexandra Fedorovna, Tsarina of Russia, was born on the 6th of June 1872 at the New Palace in Darmstadt. She was the sixth child of Princess Alice of the United Kingdom and Louis IV, Grand Duke of Hesse and Bavarian. Alex had six siblings, Victoria, Elizabeth, Irene, Ernst Louis, Friedrich and Marie. Friedrich and Marie both died young, Friedrich from a cerebral haemorrhage and Marie from diphtheria. In 1873, Alex's older brother Friedrich was diagnosed with haemophilia. He would die only months later after falling out of a window onto stone steps. Alex was nicknamed Sunny by her family. By all accounts, she was a very happy child. She was close to her brother Ernst Louis and would remain so throughout her life. As a young girl, she was very close to her younger sister Marie. They shared a nursery together and were often dressed identical. The family lived a very simple life. They were not wealthy compared to other royal families. Her mother was hands-on in the care of her children and the siblings received a strict education and were encouraged to be humble. They lived modestly, doing their own chores and their mother sewed for them. Their mother spoke to them in English and their father in German, which helped them to become fluent in both languages. When her father became the Grand Duke of Hesse and by Rhine, the Hessian children's lives remained mostly unchanged. They spent time each year with their grandmother, Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom, relishing their visits. Tragedy would strike the family again in 1878. Members of Alex's immediate family, including Alex herself, fell ill with diphtheria. On the 16th of November 1878, Alex's youngest sibling, Marie, died. And less than a month later, Alex's mother died. The surviving siblings spent the subsequent years under the supervision of their maternal grandmother, Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom. The Queen became close to her Hessian grandchildren, becoming a sort of mother to them. During the wedding of her sister Elizabeth, Alex met Serevik Nicholas Alexandrovich. Five years later, they fell in love. The prospect of marriage was met with opposition from Nicholas's parents and Queen Victoria. The Tsar and Cyrena disliked all things German and wanted a higher profile bride for their son. Queen Victoria liked Nicholas but felt uneasy about her granddaughter marrying into the Russian imperial family that was not democratic and did not have a constitutional monarchy like Britain, which worried Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria encouraged Alex to marry Prince Albert Victor of Wales, but Alex showed little interest in Albert Victor. Queen Victoria's favourite grandchild was Alex, and Victoria wanted her to be happy, so she gave in to Alex's wishes. They became engaged in April 1894, while attending Alex's brother Ernst Louis's wedding. Alex refused the proposal at first. She was a devout Lutheran and would have to convert to Russian Orthodoxy. After Elizabeth urged her to reconsider, Alex accepted. The wedding was planned for the spring of 1895. Sadly, in the fall of 1894, Alexander III, Nicholas's father, fell ill. Nicholas sent for Alex and she arrived in Russia on the 22nd of October. The Tsar gave Alex his blessing and died 10 days later. Nicholas became the Tsar of Russia. On the 2nd of November, Alex was received into the Orthodox Church and took the name Alexandra Fedorovna. Nicholas wanted to marry immediately, but was persuaded to wait until after the funeral so that some of the pomp and ceremony of a traditional wedding could go ahead. The wedding was quickly rearranged to take place on the 26th of November, 1894. They were wed in the Grand Church of the Winter Palace. They went on to have five children together, Olga, Tatiana, Maria, Anastasia and Alexei. Alex found her new life in Russia difficult. 
She was extremely shy and the Russian people perceived this as her being aloof. She was an introvert, whereas her mother-in-law, the Dowager Empress, was very outgoing and was loved by the people. Due to her German background, the Russian people also distrusted her. This hatred would be magnified during the First World War. Alex felt great pressure to have a son. In 1904, after four daughters, Alex gave birth to her only son, Alexei. He had haemophilia, which caused the Empress great pain. Measures were taken to protect him from harm and hide his illness from the people. When it did eventually become public knowledge, it led to the Russian people blaming her for the heir's illness and hating her even more. Alex turned to mystics and faith healers to help Alexei. This led to her disastrous relationship with Grigory Rasputin. He appeared to bring Alexei back from the brink of death multiple times, which cemented Alex's dependence on Rasputin. In December 1916, Rasputin was murdered, which devastated Alex. During the First World War, in March 1917, Nicholas was forced to abdicate and the family was placed under house arrest in the Alexander Palace and then Tobolsk. Following the Bolshevik Revolution in 1917, they were moved to a Petya of house in Ekaterinburg. On the 17th of July 1918, the family were woken up during the night and were brought to the basement of the house. They were then assassinated. Their bodies were thrown down a mine before being retrieved and quickly buried. In 1979, a mass grave was discovered. They were exhumed in 1991 and in 1998, through DNA testing, it was confirmed that these remains were those of Nicholas, Alexandra and three of their daughters. On the 17th of July 1998, Eight years to the day of their murders, the remains were interned in St. Catherine Chapel at the Peter and Paul Cathedral in St. Petersburg. The remains of their last two children were not found until 2007 and were positively identified the following year. These remains have not been buried, despite being confirmed as the authentic bodies of the deceased Russian royals.